you have a Raspberry Pi uh, ver version B, uh, doesn't matter which one, but um, on your keyboard you have um, multimedia keys, and also on the taskbar you'll see a uh, volume icon here. Okay, I'm running a uh, Raspbian, and by default it doesn't seem to recognize the uh, multimedia keys like volume up and volume down, mute. So to get it to work, uh, this is LXD default, LXD, Raspbian, Raspberry Pi B. Okay, so to get it to work, you have to uh, open up a terminal. And this program. So as user pi, you go to dot config, then you will cd to open box. Open box dot config, and then you will see a file called lxd dot rc. So you would edit that file, let's say uh, nano, or whatever you'd like to use. And you scroll down to uh, volume. So there's a section called keyboard. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna detail all this in the uh, about section. Down, and you can see that here. Not really, but uh, that would be the, the code that you would add. Uh, key bind, key, and you got the XF uh, audio raise volume up and, and, and lower. On um, on this particular setup, uh, on on the default setup of uh, Raspbian, and you just start the uh, GUI, uh, this would be the exact code to get it to work, to get the volume up and the volume down to work. I don't know if you can see that. But that changes the volume. If you notice these uh, numbers, 250 minus and 250 plus, that's just to raise the volume a little bit higher or lower the volume a little bit. And the va value I have here, when I push the buttons, okay, it kind of makes sense for my setup. Okay, so for you, you can use numbers uh, or you can use a uh, uh, percent, so you can raise it by one percent, two percent, three percent. So for that, you would um, so so for that you would let's say down here. So if you wanted to raise volume a uh, certain percent, you would say, let's say 2% plus. 
or 2% minus and that would raise it and lower it now one of the things, one of the tools you might want to use is a tool called XEV that checks uh, keyboard events so we'll start that XEV and that brings us this little tool here okay it's just a little box just a little white box that you uh, click on so you just click on that and then you press a key and it shows up here so if I push uh, volume up volume down and it shows you where I got that uh, XF86 uh, audio lower volume and raise volume right there and the key code is 122 for uh, volume down and 123 for volume up and mute. Okay, so 121, 122, 123. And you could just paste those into the uh, uh, LX, the um, config file that we uh, were editing. This file you could just use, you just put them right there, put all your keyboard shortcuts there. Keyboard shortcut, the uh, key bindings. Uh, again, it's uh, X E V. Okay, X event, keyboard event. Okay, it, it detects all all the keystrokes and and everything. Um, mouse events, key events. Also, if you have uh, Trigger Happy installed, I believe uh, in Raspbian. Uh, trigger happy is already installed and it's a device for uh, a keyboard input it's, it's a tool for uh, for uh, finding uh, keyboards to key finding keys to uh, shortcuts so if you want to adjust the volume control you can use trigger happy uh, it's already installed but I think then this other way is easier the one way we've been doing it's easier but um if you're interested, there's a daemon called uh, THD, and you can also use uh, Trigger Happy to detect uh, keyboard input, just like uh, XEV. So you can use XEV to check uh, your multimedia keys, and you can also use uh, THD dump, and it's uh, installed. It should be installed by default in uh, Raspbian. And what you do is uh, a THD daemon and just dump all the keyboard inputs. And uh, you want to redirect everything from dev slash input slash everything in there, star. And so when you press uh, volume up, volume down, mute, and keys. So it's just another tool you can use. And to get out, you gotta use uh, Control uh, C to cancel out. And then uh, finally, uh, once you've done all that, you want to just uh, restart your, uh, your your GUI, your uh, LXD uh, GUI. Just Control All back. Well, that kills it, but um, you can use uh, you just restart it. Just log out. And then just uh, log in again. Hi, and then uh, password. And then just start X again. And just start up again.
and that's all you got to do to um, get access to the uh, multimedia keys. And uh, if it doesn't work, you just reboot the machine. But that that should work. You should just need to uh, restart the uh, X GUI. And that should be it.